Hi everybody, it's Paul, the Library Director for the Brockton Public Library. Here to welcome you to episode 5 of Everyone Has a Voice, a poetry series the Brockton Public Library has been running for quite some time now, thanks to Philip Asaurus. We want to thank Emma Reardon at BCA for producing this, and certainly we want to thank all the poets who have been participating. Um, keep your poems coming, folks. We are enjoying this, and it's great to have this kind of art in these uncertain times. You guys enjoy the show, and we'll see you next time. Bye. I wrote this poem approximately 22 years ago. Unfortunately, this poem is still as relevant today in 2020 as it was in 1998, 1968. The whole world is watching. 1958, 48, 1800s, 400 years. Please, let it be the last time I read this poem, Simple Mind. He hid behind the signs, afraid of himself. There was only one color as he trembled into the unknown darkness. But the colors his eyes focused on, black and blue, voices foreign, skin glistening rainbows. And fear gripped the colors that he faces, no patience for understanding. He saw the flash at the end of a gun that lit his world, just cause, lock and load. Blood at the end of a bat, Arms raised in hollow victory, words spin out of control. Tangled lies weave before him. Cries of no mas on bended knee, choking tears swallow. God, help me. This smiling cannibal. I pledge allegiance to my country, tis of thee. Oh, say, can you see? And the damage is done. Words form for a simple mind. Nigger, Jew, spick. You can never trust those people. Slant-eyed, dot-headed, towel-wrapped, mixed breeds. Come on, you know those people. Dykes, faggots, retards. Common beggars among us. Fingers were pointed, fists were clenched, air thick, madness on the verge. Fire raged for a simple mind. He hid behind the mask, cloaked from the truth. Only colors that he saw were pure within himself. Voices in the distance silenced. Pity for the man that could never be. Sorrow for the child as voices cut tender flesh. Tears for a nation blinded in the darkness, losing their way to silent screams as streets run blood red. Shame for a world that hides behind a simple mind. The Art of Time Often plentiful, sometimes in short supply, time's our most natural resource. It deals fairly with us, giving back according to the way we give to it. How we handle it determines whether later we'll feel cheated of our lives or that the years have given us good value. We can fill our time or empty it. Full time is looked back on with satisfaction. Empty time is looked on in dismay. Give all to a task and time is filled, although it passes imperceptibly. Absorbed with something other than ourselves, we look up with surprise to see it gone. But our investment in the moment lets the years accumulate their store of ripeness. Each day we grind to get it over with is tossed aside, despised as valueless. We think our life won't start until it's done, so we withhold ourselves from what we do. 
Such time heaps up a pile of empty years which leave us nothing, then are swept away. The emptiest of empty days is wasted in focusing on passing time itself, each hour an enemy to be detained for questioning the battle far away. The art of time is mastered only by the daily practice of a lover's habit. Give all to time and be repaid in full. Withhold yourself and lose all in the bargain. Yes, good evening. This is Kenya McDonald, also known as K-Mat. This is the second poem that I'm doing. It's called Black. My kiki here is black. My nostrils black. Make me black. Wonderfully black. 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 Bus stop black. Affirmation black. Educated black. HBCU black. 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 Pulpit black. Singing choir black. Spiritual black. Glory of God black. Black. Black, black, cornbread black, black eyed peas black, chicken black, chicken black, 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 gang chain black, hip hop black, street talk black, two pop black, Biggie Smalls black, 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 smoking cigarette black, drinking breakers black, toting snuff black. Gin and juice black, 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 black. Soap, box, guitar black, juice joint black, rhythm and blues black, jazz and swing black, soul music black, black, black. Marvin Gaye black, Stevie Wonder black, Bobby Blue Bland black, Eddie James black, Aretha Franklin black, black, black. Shaman Nation Black, Emmett Till Black, George Dixon Black, Scott Squirrel Black, Tuskegee Black, Barack Obama Black, Martin Luther King Black, Malcolm X Black, Andrew Davis Black, Black, Black Panthers, Black Panthers, Black, Crazy Flizzin Black, Cousin One Listen Black, Mamua Abdul Jamal Black, Black, Black. Black, black, crust on your boot black, mango fruit black, smelling like smoke black, dining near on sales black, 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 no justice black, police service black, taste no reason black, dying every season black, 14 women black, no due process black, 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 racial profile black, racial Profile black, racial profile black, black, black. George Floyd black, Yana Taylor black, Trayvon Martin black, Sandra Bland black, Atiana Jefferson black, black, black. Say my name, say my name, say my name, just a name. Say my name, say my name. Not just a name. I'm black. I'm black. Thank you. This poem is about a woman in the history of Haiti that I really appreciate a whole lot. Her name is Catherine Flon, a defiant soldier. When I was a little boy, I heard of your name, Catherine Flon. And now I strive to let the world know about you. At the beginning of this black eternity, there you were, coveted, in which eyes, numbering the soldiers who had fallen in the makeshift bed of the ground, blooded, dying, sacrificial, 
And then you needed only a moment to witness the marvelous sight of the color white in the middle of the colonial flag. And only a moment was given to you by the tarnished bludgeons, humanity for you to create a new freedom. And it was settled in a flash so simple, so useful, so symbolic. The tattered cloth useful or was it preserved clean by those who knew it would edge nearly 500 years of unmitigated toy and accumulated wage in its willful black and blue colors. A person, a myth, a grand illusion. May 1803. History needing our colors into an up and down, horizontal new flag with a strand of your hair. A defiance against the French who had disfigured the daughter of our leader, the Salim. Or was that versions of history, our own private wage against the French? He is what we know. The Salim and Catherine Flon. I wish a comment. Two colors sewed into one. Two colors sewed into unity. Two colors celebrating a sickness unto gladness. Hate. Thank you. This is a poem I wrote after the death of Michael Brown in Ferguson, Missouri, 2014. It can be seen on the Poetry Porch at www.poetryporch.com. The news from Ferguson, Missouri, August 9th, 2014. That day, Mrs. Brown spoke up her mind. Her neighbor held her arms to keep her from falling against the crowds and reporters so that she would not be denied the chance to tell about her son, who lay nearby. She asked, do you know how hard it was? Do you know how hard it was to keep my son in school, to get him to finish, to tell him it was good to graduate? Twelve years of classes, diploma, and then, do you know how hard it was for him to work for credit and degree? Where praise is private for the family? Do you know how hard it is, she cried, to educate a young black man in this small town of Ferguson, Missouri? We're city planning schemes to drive us out from downtown residents and jobs and stores to suburbs where we cannot work, cannot drive, cannot shop, and cannot leave. We have the village here to raise this child. We have his mother here, his teachers here, the police are here, the law is here. Do you know how very hard that it was, she cried, to tell him that he shouldn't lie, decide each day to make his effort worth a try, to eat his breakfast, take the test, to rest. Do you know how hard it was, she cried? He had the motivation and the pride. He worked for that diploma, and then he died. Fire Bureau. This was for Michael Wolf Hasakarnas. He was a member of our Plymouth Poetry Group who died very suddenly from a stroke of lightning while he was sitting under a tree in one of the Plymouth historical cemeteries. Fire Bearer. A young man strides up Burial Hill to bear witness to old grounds, old graves, old growth trees. The huge beach at the crest calls him to sit a while, close his eyes, drift toward reverie. It is the fall of the year when summer swelter gives way to autumn cool 
in the belly of a cloud. The young man remains lost in vivid imagery, unaware of the clash of water and dust, of heat and cold. A single jagged knife carves a channel through the electric air. A hissing invades his body. Like a fire eater at the circus, he ingests the blinding white. All shadows disappear. The tree unscathed lives on. The young man never leaves. Am I the only one who is thinking about my immune system? Am I the only one who wants to hear how to stay healthy enough to never test positive or have symptoms? Not all of us are dying. Not all of us are having symptoms. Not all of us are testing positive. So what's the deal? Washing my hands doesn't make my immunity stronger. Staying six feet away from you doesn't make me stronger. Who are the people who are not dying? How are people recovering, the ones that are recovering? What are they doing to get well? Who are the people who are not getting sick? Why isn't anyone talking about staying healthy? Are you going to laugh at me when I say that my four cups of hot water a day, not microwaved, are keeping me strong and well? Are you going to tell me that was debunked four weeks ago? Are you going to laugh at me when I say that garlic kills viruses? Don't worry about the smell. Social distancing will cover up any possible social embarrassment caused by the aroma of this possible drug. Pump iron. Don't get anemic. Pump vitamin C. Linus Pauling was no fool. Pump fresh raw fruits and vegetables. Organic is good too. Lift your face to the sun. Take hot liver oil. Breathe in the steam from your pasta pot. Remind me of the innate power our bodies are designed with. Remind me of the old-fashioned remedies that supported some of us to our old age. And I'll believe in the choice of another, better, earth suit when I come back. But what about right now? Isn't anyone talking about staying healthy? Am I the only one? This one's called Where's the Fire? There's a fire raging so deeply within. Do I succumb to the lustful flesh and commit a sin? Such a sensual, intense, incredible feeling. Then he's gone, my mind's left reeling. There isn't much I'd say no to. I want this regardless the cost. But each time I give in, another chunk of me is lost. I can't turn my emotions off like the switch of a light. Trying to live this way forever, it just isn't right. I got it so bad, tell me this isn't love. If it is, I've been fooled. Being apart from him is a feeling of hunger, goes much deeper than food. When I'm with you, he says, this is where I belong. Why do I buy into it when I know deep down it's wrong? The words seem to be sweet, but your motives were corrupt. Dare I call you out, or fear that could cause you to leave me abrupt? My heart was hooked, my mind confused. I tolerated your negative behavior, I allowed to be abused. There's nothing more painful than being unheard. The days go into months, not a stirring or a single word. Then I ran back into your arms because you were comfort in my darkest days. The irrational thoughts raced, my head was in a haze. It took a lot for me to see that I wasn't meant to take this fall. Too late, I gave out of my lack of what I had left. Hell, I gave it all. Things don't always go how we want. There's always left a little pain. The broken pieces of myself only remain. I need you to hold me tonight. Tell me everything's all right. To be with you can ease my aching soul, but maybe it's an escape of loneliness, which was the ultimate goal. The tide has turned, I'm no longer the same. I really only have myself to blame. Shooting star upon the sky, will my wish reach you? 
before you die, to the abyss of memories where, you, where thoughts of you stay will be how I'll make it through another day. Thank you. America, why? With such abundance of wealth, but lack of justice. America, why? With such abundance of wealth, but lack of justice. The grand jury speaks. Ferguson calls for the guards. Black folks are concerned. The grand jury speaks. Ferguson calls for the guards. Black folks are concerned. The news is all out. The cop is free to move on. I weep in silence. Protest erupt all over. Come on, Lord. Why this again? A bitter verdict. Black lives matter too. What do we tell the children? Is that justice? Black lives matter too. What do we tell the children? Is that justice? What were you thinking, my lawyer friend says? That's the way it is. What were you thinking, my lawyer friend says? That's the way it is. There was Rodney King and also Trevor Martin. Then Eric Gardner. No justice, no peace. It ain't our nation's first. It's a mad disease. No justice, no peace. It ain't our nation's first. It's a mad disease. Here is the struggle. My hands are up. Please don't shoot. I can't trust no more. They care for their kind. That's the way the game is played. It ain't racism. They care for their kind. That's the way the game is played. It ain't racism. No justice, no peace. One more protest is scheduled. Blacks are humans too. My son asks again, how did I do at his age? My fear chokes my words. My son asks again, how did I do at his age? My fear chokes my words. The divided line isolates folks on both sides. Blacks and whites equal. The divided line isolates folks on both sides. Blacks and white equal. I have seen enough tears and suffering on faces. How far can this go? I have seen enough tears and suffering on faces. How far can this go? Stop shifting the blame. Some say blacks too are racist. Let's just get along. You can't kill them all. Memories don't just vanish. Justice is the way. You can't kill them all. Memories don't just vanish. Justice is the way. But make no mistake. Even the sun needs a break. This too will soon stop. Power comes and goes. And its wheels for sure do spin. Time doesn't matter. Power comes and goes, and its wheels for sure do spin. Time doesn't matter. Some truly don't know, but comfort in the system does silence many. Wake up, God's people. Yes, for sure that day will come for equality. Wake up. God's people. Yes, for sure that day will come for equality. 
Yes, we do have laws. I wish everyone could know they don't work for all. Yes, we do have laws. I wish everyone could know they don't work for all. Lord, that pain again. Is it rage or repression? Please, tame my anger. Lord, that pain again. Is it rage or repression? Please, tame my anger. Thank you. What did you do in the war? I wrote poems, a lot of poems. At the time, it seemed to many to be an indulgence. But now, it seems I wasn't writing poems as much as I was making bullets and planting seeds. Bullets for the moment, seeds for the future. Sometimes one poem would be both. Those were the times I think I was at my best. I do not like war. I'm not one of those whose blood sings with it. But there were times, I admit, when I'd look at what I'd written and say, there's one that will hurt, there's one that'll sprout later, and I would sit back and say, there, there it is. I mean, why do you fight a war except for the chance to hear poems when it's over? Which is why they killed some of us, you know. It wasn't safe, not as dangerous as some things, but still they killed some of us not because our bullets hurt them, but because our seeds terrified them. When you ask me what I did in the war, I'll tell you this. It wasn't as much as some did, but it was everything I could do. An indulgence, maybe. But I did it with my hands. And it took all the strength I had on some days, some nights when the firefights came close and I thought I would or should die, but nonetheless, I kept the lamp on above the paper as I tried to make a better world with my pen. Mm -hmm.